NBC2 News Today. This morning, we're joined by Dr. Cedar Chris, who has some interesting news about how to stay fit and keep your brain sharp. Dr. Cedar Chris practices preventative medicine and weight management in Naples. First question is, what did the study show in particular? Two very large studies actually went ahead and showed the development of dementia, which is what we consider an illness of the brain in terms of not being able to have a good memory or a thought processes. And one large study followed 8,000 people for 23 years. And what they found is that those people who had a higher percentage of body fat had a threefold higher likelihood of developing Alzheimer's in the 23 years. Another study followed 10,000 people who were about you know middle age at the start 45 I hate to say that it's getting closer to middle age all the time and uh, what they found is that those who were overweight had a 35 percent higher likelihood of developing dementia whereas those who were obese or medically overweight had a 74 percent higher likelihood of developing dementia so you mentioned how a person's weight can impact their likelihood of getting this disease what about their degree of staying active staying fit well, we know that weight and fitness can go together, and um, several studies have shown that being active, walking regularly can help decrease the risk of dementia. One of the biggest risks that we're seeing with regards to developing Alzheimer's or dementia is weight, but um, certainly if somebody is overweight and has been, going ahead and making efforts to exercise regularly will really help. Does it ever become too late I'm, if you're an older adult in your 60s or 70s and you start walking now, will that impede the process of getting dementia, you think, or, or in your expertise, does it not? I think that it can help. You know, many studies have shown that when you add activity, even if somebody is older, there are definite benefits. One of the things that's hard when you um, start with an older population is you can't follow them for as long, and uh, sometimes it's hard to know if these uh, changes that you make um, early on, at, at a later age, will go ahead and affect the risk of dementia. But what we know about the risk factors of dementia are, are several. One is having an elevated blood sugar or pre diabetes diabetes is something that can help add to the risk of memory problems and eventually dementia. Regular exercise or walking helps lower blood sugar in people who have a problem with that. We also know that elevated blood pressure and cholesterol are risk factors for the development of dementia because they block arteries and impede blood flow to the brain. And there have been many, many studies that show regular exercise helps improve blood pressure and cholesterol. What about taking vitamins or minerals or supplements to deter from getting dementia? Will that help? Well, this is a very interesting uh, topic of conversation because that baby boom generation is getting older and many want to do what they can to go ahead and prevent dementia. What they know nutritionally is that pretty much the tenants for healthy diet that we look at for heart health, diabetes risk, goes the same for dementia. In particular, with regards to dementia, there's some really interesting uh, information about high intake of DHA, which is one of the fats that is in fish. They have done studies that have found that people have very high DHA levels in their blood are less likely to have dementia. There's also interest in some other nutrients like coenzyme Q10, vitamin E, and it really is a area of significant study. If somebody has uh, more interest in this particular uh, subject matter in terms of nutritional and supplement um, protection against dementia, I would recommend the book The Better Brain, which is by um, Dr. David Perlmutter, who's a local neurologist have a copy here. He actually is a specialist with regards to um, Alzheimer's prevention. And this book is uh, put out in 2004, very nicely done, very nicely researched if someone really wanted to look at some of the things that have been shown nutritionally to be protective. Good information as we go through uh, that process with our aging society. Well, if you have any questions, 866-401-3438 or go to www.bistromd.com.